how many times have we heard? How many? How many times have you heard this? I'm not pulling you over because you're black. It's because of that blah blah blah. And it's like what? You get the description. Something just yeah. happened around the corner. I, I told you guys a story. I told you guys a story. <laughs> I will never forget this. I was hanging with my longtime childhood friend, and there were two other friends I didn't really know, but it was four black men in the car in general. And we was heading uh, to the club, and we was pulled over because we were driving at, at, at late at night. And the cop said, "We thought you were drag racing." I was like, <laughs> and I remember I was still young. I didn't really understand. I, I didn't even understand institutional racing right. back then. But I, look, I still think about that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like he, he, he wasn't even going that fast. My my, my, my long term, my childhood friend, he was went straight, and he's like, "Are you?" He like, "Were you guys racing?" I pulled you over because I thought you guys were racing. And then he said, no, we're not racing. He ran his plate. He's like, oh, sorry. I thought you was racing. He's mm -hmm. like, bro, he did that just so you can run my homie's plate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And this is shit that white America, they don't, they don't have to do They don't understand. Shit. They make up nonsense. And then if, if my boy would have had a warrant, they would be like, oh, man, you got a warrant. It's a shame. Shame you got a warrant. Oh, man, your, your car kind of smells like weed. Your car smells like weed, Brandon. Like, so this is the kind of shit that they do to us. Mm -hmm. I just got and pulled over. It I just got pulled over. They pulled me up for literally nothing. I, I'm so pissed off that the government took my damn land. I'm trying to figure out how to get back. So I'm just driving. I'm I'm, I'm cruising. I'm probably in P in traffic. You probably can get me for that. You know, I know I wasn't speeding. I look up. I see the fucking police lights on. I'm like, what the fuck these niggas want? He like, license registration. I'm like, why you pulled me over? License and registration, sir. I'm like, you know what? I had a long night, huh? Yeah, my shit. He came back, threw it in my car. He threw it in my car. He didn't even hand me my shit. He threw it in my car and said, I see you. I said, no, the fuck you want? <laughs> no, this shit is crazy. They just fish for warrants out here. They just you know what that me. is? And I wrote this down earlier. You had said something earlier, Rome, and now I can revisit it because you're, you're bringing it up again. This is about criminalizing poverty. That's why they run your plates because they can take Absolutely. the chance that you are poor and the likelihood yep. There you are able to pay your rent and all of your bills and take care of your kids and exactly. play all of these outrageous fees that we have on you. Mm -hmm. It's unlikely. Yeah. So I'm just going to run your plate. So he was mad that you were one of the ones who was the, the low percentage that's able to keep up, be in yep. poverty and pay your shit. Kids. That's, well, actually, that's, that's what he was mad about. It's but that's up. exactly. They, it's, it's, it, and they, they, they mm -hmm. market criminalizing poverty as black people and people of color not knowing how to take care of their business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they, yeah. they market it as it's just, no, it's poverty that you're criminalizing. It's poverty yeah. that you're criminalizing. Why people are, oh, even tickets when you when you live in an apartment complex or apartment and there's a bunch of cars and it's like street sweeping, where are we supposed to park? Yep. Where are we supposed to park? <laughs> Here's you're fitting a, a bunch Here's of a people ticket. in this apartment. You're fitting <laughs> a bunch of people in this apartment because they can't afford shit, and people are having yep. to stack. There's multiple like uh, families in the part. You know, I'm living my cousin, my uncle, and that. Like what happened to you, Nick? So you have two people, like for you, example, in California, three adults would equal three cars, but it's one house. Yeah, we get. You see how they're criminalizing poverty. You see how they're criminalizing poverty too. All We've been here with Go ahead. Go ahead. See, I, got, Go ahead. I can speak on that because you guys know I have multiple relatives that live with me. I have and I and those relatives have multiple cars. One that's listening right now, <laughs> he had multiple cars. <laughs> and he got hit with tickets because he get he was getting hit with parking fine fees because we have a two car port. So we have three people that live here. One of us has two cars, and then so the, one of the one of the people that live here, they always are odd man out. And then my they got my friend got in trouble because he got parked in visitors, got charged with a ticket. My brother got in trouble yeah. because he parked one place too long, got charged with a ticket. These are regressive fines and fees on the working class. And these are things, once again, this is really real shit. I'm talking about family here. Shit that I lived through. That I lived mm -hmm. through. And that's why I co-founded 10 Men's. And I asked you guys to justify your police budgets. Why are we funding the police to do this? You guys think they are solving crimes? No, they are literally taking funds and resources from the working class. Which is why I have said point blank, you are not a populist. You are not a friend of the workers. If you support the American police, the American police, period. And I'm speaking about the American police because we are uniquely evil. And I am not Western centric enough to realize thing that every police is like this. Because in other countries, other police serve, do social services is completely different in our country. In our country, they literally serve just to impose regressive fines and fees on the workers. And then they may fill in some paperwork after a crime is done. 
They don't prevent yeah. anything. And that's why I've been challenging. And the Capitals have been a hard, hard time uh, justifying that. But uh, any other thoughts you guys have? Because I have a story, but yeah. JB, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to share a short story about what happened to me regarding police. Go ahead. Um, so I, I've shared this before, but uh, this is uh, what happened to me. Um, this was years ago when I was going to work and the, where I worked, I wore, I was wearing khakis, a light blue long sleeve button up shirt. I had my lanyard around my neck for where I was working and I was going to work. I stopped by the convenience store because I'm literally taking the bus to work, but I stopped by the convenience store to grab myself something to eat In walks the orange County Sheriff's office. The, the department now being the looker that i am and look we're men we look i saw this dude he was fine as hell but he was in a police uniform i regret it down to this day but hey look he was fine but the thing is that i was checking him out because i was attractive but i kept looking you know because you know double take triple take whatever as i'm walking <laughs> out the convenience store, yeah as i'm walking out of the convenience yeah. store I hear, hey, and I stop. I turn around and he goes, how's it going? I'm like, I'm okay, how are you? He's like, good. He goes, uh, you were looking kind of suspicious back there. And I'm like, no, I wasn't looking suspicious. By the way, I was still in the closet at the time. And he's like, uh, I'm like, I was like, I made an excuse. I was like, uh, you kind of look like somebody. He's like, oh, really? Who? And I said, Vin Diesel, because he did like Vin Diesel a little bit, you know, white, ball head, whatever. And he goes, yeah, I get that quite often. You got your license? You got your license or registration? You got a license on you? Something like that. And I'm like, uh, yeah. He's like, let me see. So I didn't want to, you know, cause any trouble mm -hmm. for myself. So I hand him my, my ID. He runs it. He gives it back to me. He goes like, all right, you have yourself a nice day. I couldn't even check somebody out without without being black. That's a slave that's being not, checked. That's that's, that's him somebody. checking your slave papers. That's right. yeah. like that's that's such the vision I get. That's a slave walking around. Just imagine in the city, and somebody come up. Let me see you your man. papers. Let me see to make sure yeah. you're able to just walk around like this. Yeah. That's exactly like, like, to me what that was. For, for instance. You guys, Terrible. you know, imagine if this was this fine woman who was in a police uniform and y'all were like, damn, she fine. But if you look a couple times and then she stops you and goes, oh, you got your ID? You're looking a little suspicious. Like, How man, would you feel? I would have hold it. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Walking, you ain't you ain't touching my ID, bro. I don't give a fuck who you is. <laughs> you know? yeah. And so I went to my job, you know, on the bus, but I'm like, yo, like, how can you do that to me? You know, even though I was looking at you a couple times, you know, so what? Is it illegal to look? But that happened to me. So just letting y'all know. I got a closing. I, I want to say, I don't know if this lady trolling or whatnot, but uh, somebody asked what's going on in Chicago this weekend. I look so good. Beating random people up, hopping on cars, punch. Hey, look. What's happening in Chicago is capitalism. This is what happens when you hold resources back from people. When, when people is too poor. What are all we talking about? I don't know. What this we're is common. This talking is about common. Rome? Uh, 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 I guess she's talking about, you know, she, she want to chime in and what we were talking about, you know, saying the power in black people, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, they always want to bring up Chicago. White people always bring up Chicago. And Chicago is a great example of how capitalism doesn't work, especially in big cities. Like like this, uh, but yes, what's happening in Chicago is capitalism. It, it, it will always be happening in cities like this. Uh, you cannot stop uh, uh, people from doing as they please, especially when it comes to riot and whatnot. And like Dr. Martin Luther was King, was there says, a riot? Was there a riot? It, it was like Chicago? a. It wasn't even a riot. It was just a whole bunch of kids fighting downtown. It was a whole bunch of teens. I wouldn't call it a riot because it wasn't political. Oh, okay. I don't know if it was politically motivated. That's why I don't consider it a riot. I, I, it was just a big ass, a big ass mosh pit, you know. But uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening in Chicago. This is a great example. You cannot have capitalism in cities like this. 
We have to we have to do better. We have to take care of these people. We have to make sure they have resources. Unless the only the only place they're gonna have to go is the cities, is the streets. You know, if you don't want to get robbed and killed, make sure your neighbors get get eat because, you know, I don't I don't know what else y'all want. Like, what y'all think? Y'all think black people are just gonna not eat or not take from you or me or whatever? If they ain't got it, whether that was black or white, if that city was full of white poor people like Ohio, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we see right. But y'all don't bring up what, what goes on in Ohio or Alabama or Florida, right? But Chicago is a great example. If you want the things in Chicago to get better, crush capitalism. If you want, if y'all say y'all want better for black people, help us bring socialism back into these back into these spaces, back into these cities that y'all y'all try so hard. To get us away from y'all, y'all pushed all this religion and all this anti uh, uh, the red scare bush into our communities, and now we are worse off than. So you want better for our communities? You say, well, help us crush capitalism. That's the only way we're going to help the people in Detroit, Chicago, wherever black city that y'all can fucking name off. <laughs>